All right, so here I am on my roof, and uh, I did get this solar panel from Santan Solar out in Arizona uh, when I was doing my hashtag van life. Anyways, I have it connected to 10 gauge wire, 50 foot. It is tinned copper. So this is a maximum power, 250 watts. Open circuit voltage, 37.6. Voltage at P max, 30.3. Short circuit current, amps at 8.85 amps. Current at P max, 8.26. Yeah, 8.27. Max system voltage 500 to 600. Uh, 600. And fuse rating is for 15 amps. Alright, so here's the panel specifications. Right there, I think the one we need to be concerned at is voltage at P max is 30.3. I believe that is uh, working current or something like that. This uh, open voltage says 37.6. Panel puts out 8.85 or 8.27 amps. Anyways, this is clearly overrated for the EcoFlow River 600. <clears throat> Alright, here's my uh, Santan solar panel. That I picked up, I believe, for $69 or something like that. $65. Alright, then I have it running down here. And in through the dog door, temporarily. I run that panel through that 10 gauge wire and connect it to this power mister. It's a 60 amp, it's rated at 60 amps. Uh, you can see that the voltage coming in is 30.8, producing, what's that? Is that watts? 32 watts. And then I have it running up this cable. To the EcoFlow, and it does say this is showing up, but it says 25 volts or 12 amp max. So, but this fuse right here says 10 amp max on both sides 25 volts, 12 amp max. And then I have it oh. powering my EcoFlow. So 26, 27, 20, 27 watts. Usage is 10 watts. Santan panels putting out uh, 70 watts 25 24 volts anyways uh, that's one way to get the power off of there to your EcoFlow River 600 piece